Am I going to make it to 2017? So back in the day of time with that gunshot, old pass like gunshot thing. Yes, and, and yeah, right. Baltimore <laughs> took it out of me, and you did some follow up work on that. Right. That was when I came back from Mount Shasta and picked up a hitchhiker, <laughs> which people need to know this. That around accidents, there was a big rig that had crashed in a Shasta, so the traffic was backed up for miles. And people were getting out of their cars and walking around. Well, duh, uh, in discarnate spirits can't go to those places like they go to psyche fairs and churches mm -hmm. because that's where the best eating is. Oh my god. And so I was, I got out of the car. And I was walking around, just kind of cruising with people and looking, and then I had to go pee, and I came back. And when I got back in the car, I had picked up something that had found the portal of entry, which apparently was a past life gunshot wound in the civil, civil, civil whatever, oh, the, uh, an old war, and I couldn't breathe. Mm -hmm. And I was riding with Kelly Fluke in her little BMW, and she happened to have a tank of oxygen in the back, and she <laughs> has blood problems. And so here we are riding this, you know, God bless BMW, but I mean, it's like a sports car, and I'm sitting down here, and it's like, I'm and I can't breathe, and I got tubes, and we at McDonald's. <laughs> And you find a better one, so okay, I'll go to McDonald's with you, Kelly. And you know, I'm going in there with this thing, and and I, it was so painful, it, it really could have killed me. Mm -hmm. I felt like that, and that was the same thing that uh, Larry had, that you had, and at Shasta when we did those interviews, the 21. Uh, this is what happened, you know. I sat, next, I sat next to somebody. It was a funny story. I sat next to somebody that that had this dark energy and. Uh, was a very powerful, dark master. I sat next to him at his, his workshop, and, uh, and we were all holding hands. And then, the next thing you know, something came into me. I didn't know this. Mm -hmm. So, um, I don't know what happened. I just started projectile vomiting. I was in the car. I couldn't, I couldn't, oh my I God. Was, Poor thing, I was, she was just puking, like, puking, like out of the... Puking and shaking the and shivering. That's really interesting because... And I said, like, only last... Did yes. you wonder what do you think of that? Well, the thing is, when you're going to events, you have to be really street smart. Yes. Okay? Because you're going to get predators, you're going to get all sorts of weird creatures coming in. Most people do not... Even if they have really good intense and high energy, yeah. I've had nasty stuff happening in my events. So it's like, they do come, right? Yes, well that... Uh, like, in terms of yeah. But yeah. it's not just because of that, the person giving the event is not responsible for you. You have to make yourself right. responsible for yourself. Right. There will be people there who are predators, and becoming smart, street smart, when you go to events, and also when you join any group, any spiritual group, yeah. any meditation group, or anything. Yeah. Or to get smart. <laughs> Right? Yes. <laughs> because not everybody there has your best interest at heart. That's right. There's people who are looking at for energy, there's people who are looking for possession, there's people who all sorts of things, right? Oh, and then many and don't always, know that yeah. there are channels for that. Yeah, all of them. They go in there without any mystical training, nobody has any mystical training in school. They go in wide open, full of stuff. Yes. Full yes. of yes. Me, whatever, right? This is yeah, not to be taught. You know, cut, you know, and um, first stuff, and it comes out, and there's other people there. So you have to be really street smart, be responsible for yourself, and have the intent, and nothing can happen without your agreement. But you're wide open because you're trusting and whatever. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Right. it's like totally trusting, yeah. looking up to the person like he was a guru. Like, right. right. oh, and we need to stop doing stop that. Stop it. Yeah. Because we are the gurus. Yeah. And we need to look up to ourselves exactly. on an equal level. Right. Listen. Nobody's a higher or lower. So it's like yeah. the attitude of, oh, let's go there for some insights. Different insights to mine, right? Right. right. So it's like there's people who have fabulous insights. But don't think of them as superior in any way. Right. Because it, they might have really good insights in one area of their lives, but some other area, you're way better. Right? And your oh. insights are helpful from them. So, and if anybody you go to that says, <laughs> forget it, I don't want to hear what you have to say. Like, right. Okay, I'm out of here. And then, you know, 
we, because we're all in media, uh, Helene and I both have, have done radio shows for a long time, and we have either heard or seen firsthand some of the people that we admire, and when we were comparing notes, you know. <laughs> we, that's what we got together. It was like, like oh my me. God, <laughs> no, not so and so does <laughs> that. Oh no. So we're human. And this is going to say this we're year. human. Yeah, especially yeah. this year. Nobody's this is going to be a big one. Especially this year. I don't know. I've seen people just turn 180. And oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Holy crap. Oh, you <laughs> Tell me, what, what, what is going on this year? What, this yes, is, what is good. going on this year, yes. actually? Yeah. And in your bed, <laughs> share your insights. <laughs> Please. Because <laughs> this is your last year yeah. as a. Yeah. So, the insight that I've had is that we. this is really, we have to become aware, but mostly aware of our. Choices, right? And also the second bit is commitment. We are committing to what paradigm we're embodying. But it's not about whatever is transforming outside of us. Mm -hmm. What paradigm do you want your physical body to be? Mm -hmm. right? What paradigm do you want your physical body to be? Power over others, victim aggressor, fully empowered being. Um, what we done? Yeah. Why can't we have a multi-dimensional, you know, avatars of, of various aspects? I mean, it, it would, you know, why should we have to pick one or two? Exactly. It's either this way or that way. Black or white. Right. Good or evil. Why can't we have thousands of manifestations that we're aware of and move in and out of those and enjoy the experience? If we're only they enjoying them, Lance, if we're fully empowered in a, in a sovereign state like a being. Which we're not planet. enjoying it when no, we're... And when we're not awake and, right. and, and conscious. Right. It's the unconscious realms that run us. Exactly. And that's the problem. We need to bring light to our unconscious behaviors and then say, oh, do I, is this okay? Do I agree with this? Is my, how is my morality about this? If you're buried with a lot of false morality and Christian teachings and, and, and your peer group pressures and the uh, gays are bad and this is bad and this is bad, well, then you're going to have a hard time accepting yourself because yeah. you're busy judging all these things. And what if you find out, I'm a lesbian or I'm gay or I'm, I'm transsexual? Oh, my God, I need to have an operation. You know, so, so, you know, these things come up to show us, you know, teach us that. So how does that work? The amount of judgment that we have over others is probably, is that the amount of judgment that we have of ourselves? I don't know. I don't, I don't really have much experience with judgment. I don't either. I try not to. I mean, we're all mirrors for each other, right? And so when somebody is judging me and saying things about me, I have to ask myself, is this true or not? Is this something that I, I need to own for myself? And if it's not, and it's their judgment, then I leave it on their doorstep, and I realize that I am the mirror that is holding itself up and reflecting back their own belief systems and right. inherited things. So, um, but it's still disturbing. You know, some, somebody calls you a fat old hag, you know, or a, well, they're a defining witch. themselves as someone who needs to judge. Right, right. right. Like, right. That's their bottom line. Does not make their opinion about you matter. Nobody else's opinion about you should really matter. It should. It should. Yeah. It should. It's still, it's but still, we all, we're all. Just, I think we're going. I, whenever I start defending myself, when I start defending myself, that's ego week. Mm -hmm. yeah. Always has the right flag. Because mm -hmm. you shouldn't even have to explain yourself or or you know, yeah. yourself. So, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I know it's my ego. Yes. Yeah. 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 You don't think that happening with me? So I go, yeah. <laughs> don't go there. Yeah. Yeah. For me, it's like more like a maybe guilt or obligation stuff. So yeah. I have to like do it all my way out of it, so I don't feel bad about not doing right. something for somebody else. Or <laughs> yeah, it's ego too. Yeah. It is ego, really. Oh, yeah. When you feel like you have no choice, like right. oh, I have no choice. I have to. I'm trapped in this because I already said that I was going right. with them. Right. That's all. That's all. all. Yeah. And yeah. also, all. kind of ego in the sense, like, oh, they can't get by without me. You always yeah. have choice. Right. Right. It's right. like, right. why do they need you exactly. so much? You know? No. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's self-important. Like, like, oh, they can't do without me. Yeah. 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 That kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Very good. Very good. 
Facebook, people get super mad when I block them, you know, they even chase me to YouTube and all sorts of things, and um, they get really mad, and it's, it's fine, the way I see it, okay, so what my opinions are, are very clear, if they don't like them, they can go and write their own opinion somewhere else, but don't come into my page to insult me. Right. <laughs> So I will block you so that I will no longer be in your reality. That's why I'm blocking you. Right. You will become a happier person in your own reality where you're right. Exactly. exactly. I don't want to make you wrong. Right. right. I want you to be right. So I'm removing myself from your reality. And then you're completely 100%, 1,000% right. And it's great. So you're right. I mean, I'm yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. It's true. Yeah. And we have to remove ourselves from that. Yeah. We're not. Yeah, we're not, not obligated. Yeah, you know what it is when somebody feels powerless or needy, yeah. and they can't do it themselves. Then they yeah. feel like they have to latch on to somebody sometimes, mm -hmm. or they feel like they have to take some sort of abuse or some kind of mistreatment yeah. because they're so weak themselves that they need help and that person will help them. And so you just have to just kind of cut with it. I, I mean, I was raised that way. Right. Just kind of keep your mouth shut. They can do whatever they want. You, you oh try to get gosh. what you can from them. Oh my gosh. All manipulation. All manipulation. of those dynamics mm -hmm. where you feel some kind of pulling at your own inner gut and your your gut feeling that you you know that you've been either are being manipulated or you are in a manipulative relationship that you are encouraging because you're getting something out of it as well. Right. Even if you're the victim. Right. Well you know, fear well I can't manage without this person. How would I give up this I uh, can possibly <laughs> they can they can paint the house, they can drive the car, they got money. <laughs> Well, what else can a girl, a Jewish girl want? <laughs> Keep that man. <laughs> lady, lady, hold on to that, that man. man. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. It is really like, I mean, really. I Guys, mean, too. Yeah. Well, hold on to that man. I taught that, though. Oh, well, so, so, or well, then, yeah. Well, it's, well, like, well, it's like socially, I mean, it's like societally, I mean, you know, yeah. like, uh, oh, what does she do for a living? Well, but, uh, oh, she's married. Okay. She's, she's a housewife. She's a housewife. Okay. Yeah. She, she takes care of the kids. Yeah. She drives them to their appointment. Which is still a very kids. important job. But if if a lady is, is do, if a lady is doing that without a man, Ooh. a single mother driving her kids. Oh, yeah. And, it's different. Oh, well, yeah. So then you you're like lost your status and security all yeah. of a sudden. It's like well, walking around with a uh, leg amputated. Well, like, how long are these programs going to really be deleted from, from oh, yeah. the, the collective? So well, that's the thing, you see. We talk about the collective, but you are the collective, so when are you going to delete them? Ah! There you go. Everything starts right back again. at you. <laughs> you know, like, oh, oh. Hello! <laughs> yeah, touche. <laughs> it's true, though. You're right. It's, it's, still, it's, just still, yeah. it's like in your cellular memory. Don't yeah, you think you're so enlightened? You think so you're, you're, you know, you so think you got it. And then, you, then, then it's, yeah. you're like, oh, yeah. this little piece is just still stuck here. And yeah. I'm, it's annoying at me. And, you know, but uh, it's right. You have to go and you call your parents for advice. We're going to get it every time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and they know where the buttons are because yeah. they installed them. Oh, yeah. You're going to get right back there. Yeah. It is. It Play is like a source. <laughs> Go right back to the source. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you are your aunt, and we have to be our own parents. We have to be our own parents, yeah. I guess. And, our, Every and, our, one of us. and our gurus, and our best friend, and our lover. That doesn't mean that we don't go for information and advice from others, right? right? Okay. right. But we don't give them away our authority, that's the difference. Right. Because right. I had a lot of people saying, like, ah, you know, I'm not going to listen to you anymore, I don't need gurus or teachers, and blah, blah. I have actually had a situation with this lady who. We were collaborating, I thought she was my friend, <laughs> but apparently not, oh. because when she went to move to another country in, in Europe, she said um, to me, uh, oh, I, lo I looked at her, and I looked at the situation, and I said, we'd be really worried because that country's got this problem right now, and it's probably going to trigger you because blah, 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 right? And when you're talking with a friend, you kind of 
tell each other stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Right? All the time. Right. Yeah. Right. You know, it's There's like, no oh, look, one. that tree, like, oh, my gosh, you know, that branch looking like it's going to break, and maybe you should cut it down before passing your house. You know, whatever. Right. So right. you wouldn't notice. Right, right. And she right. goes, um, I don't need your advice. You're not my guru. You're not my teacher. Blah, 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 blah. And you're invalidating my decision. And blah, 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 blah. Whoa. Blah. You go, Whoa. Really? Is that how you respond to it? friend wow <laughs> no because it's no like all that projection so right, like, projection. Yeah. what happens is people are have are going into that stage of let's not listen to anybody let's not listen to any gurus because it's all inside of us and we have to listen to ourselves or i won't read any books because i don't want my stuff being polluted or my mm -hmm. scene right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all that stuff yeah but that's also like an extreme egoic spiritual yep. ego right it's yeah like, yeah. Because it's not about that either. Yeah. It's like if I, I don't have every insight, I'll go to dance, I'll go to heaven. Yeah. You know? yeah. I don't know you, but I'll probably go to you too. <laughs> yeah. so, you yeah. know, I will check with other people and see what do you see anything here? Mm -hmm. Or sometimes, yeah. you know, when you called me and said, you know, I had this dream and thought you were dying, my brand said, Well actually you're right. And then, yeah. you know, yeah, and that was one of those things that I was yeah. again ignoring, leaving California, I was ignoring it, and he was like, okay, I really have to go. And I didn't, so the fires came, and I couldn't breathe, so oh. I went to the doctor, and there was like, the finger thing with the oxygen, oh, um, you, oh. how are you sponting up? How are you, did you drive? What? You have no oxygen in your blood. Oh. Oh. So it's like they put me in a machine and everything. And it's just, and she said, I would have, it's just, the girl, the woman, the doctor said, I'm calling 911. And I said, oh no, no, I'll be fine. Just give me whatever machine you have here. And um, she said, okay. So, but if that, if your oxygen levels don't rise at all, I'm, go I'm calling 911. It's fine, that's a deal, right? So she went in and she put me in and we did go a little, a little bit up. And then she says to me, you have to leave Sacramento, you have to leave mm. California because you can't take this smoke, right? Because I have asthma. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and yeah, you yeah, have yeah, to leave. I got it too. And um, yeah, so, it's like, it's yeah. yeah. So I, I left, right? So I got home, had my dog, my bags, and I left. And I didn't know, I was going to go west, but then Larry convinced me to go north. Yeah. <laughs> So I did, right? Yeah. But um, yeah, it was pretty intense. But it's when we're not listening, right? Yeah. But when we cut ourselves off, we get into those really nasty situations. Yeah. So when we say we don't need any gurus, we think that it's true. But yes, insights, and there are teachers out there who are still teaching really good. Mm -hmm. What we don't need is to project our authority, mm -hmm. but their insights and their wisdom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, why not, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. There's lots of stuff out there that's yeah. brilliant. What, what it just triggered something in, the, in your friends that like some kind of like, oh, go to that pole. Yeah. You're telling me what to do. Yeah. It's that whole stuff of, you know, going back to your childhood. Of <laughs> whatever. <laughs> yeah. Those places. Yeah. yeah. Well, the scary thing after hearing about some of the people that, you know, are like in the same business in the, in the media is that probably just about everybody that we know, ourselves included, have things that we do that we wouldn't want to be particularly proud of. You know, child beating and wife beating and drugs and alcohol and, you know, being promiscuous and using your spiritual position to seduce women or men or whatever. And then the spiritual ego, which, you know, starts ramping up as you write articles and everybody says, oh, that was such a good article you wrote. Oh, master, master, you're so what? And then pretty soon you start to believe it. <laughs> you know, but fortunately nobody did that to me because it's like, but I don't have the opportunity. So, you know, I don't get all, all that stuff. So, I, you know, I my ego hasn't been, you know, so out, overinflated that I've done anything kooky that way. But I've done kooky things in other directions that I definitely are zany, mystic, no-nos. <laughs> so... But it's it, what's it's uh, kind of scary to know that just about everybody has that element, like your friend, uh, whoever that is, uh, that you thought you could talk to that just bit your head off, and mm -hmm. you you probably never would have thought that that was within that person. No, I didn't. It's like a shocker. <laughs> and, and, and and you might have been sitting there thinking, "Oh my God, I've yeah. I, I've known this person all my life, or however long, and blah blah blah." And, where is this coming from? Has that person always been there? 
you know, or is it just the, you know, a, yeah. a momentary? So it's just like a reactive it's a personality. Reactive uh, mm -hmm. Something yeah. triggered a reaction. Yeah, could it, it could be. Yeah. I mean, I've gone through those same phases where I just whatever anybody said. Well, for, uh, during the channeling days, anything that started out with dear ones. Oh my God! Oh, oh I mean, dear ones and dear beloveds, 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 beloveds. Uh, the second I see that, I almost I, I feel the nausea coming yeah. up. Well, because oh. they never yeah. be like talking down to us. I mean, no. they never be talking down to us, but they're so high and they're no. so low. No, no. Never, never, never. What's wrong with beloveds, though? <laughs> beloveds. What's it condescending? That's what my name means, actually, is beloved. Amy, Amy means beloved. No, that's okay. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> my Amy's. <laughs> <laughs> Would you come in? No, my name. Name. My, my the way you came in, right? Yeah. When you ca if you come in right now to this room, exactly it, 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 yeah, if you came in this room right it. now, this moment, mm -hmm. and we were all, the three of us were sitting here, you would you say, my beloved? Would you say that to yeah. us? Because that's not me. Exactly. Yeah. It wouldn't offend me if somebody came oh, in and oh. said that. And, and they, they started talking down to you. Yeah, they got all yes, free. Yeah, my beloved. Yeah. Yes. Dear one. Dear one. So they just wanted to come in and share love with me. Soon you will find like, that, that, that the world that, that has tossed time. When you yeah, put up so your fine. level <laughs> of being. <laughs> Yeah, they usually die, have a good message. They just have a good Dear beloved, yeah. the world is going to end. Well, Friday. Good luck. Friday, what was it, Thursday? <laughs> 2 p.m.? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. Uh, the, the Hazard Collider is going to bring, you know, open dimensional portals. Well, they've been opening <laughs> portals since the beginning of time. <laughs> the thing that it always got me, that's one thing that this is what me and Lance were talking about. We were talking about Al. The only way that we could leave and go to the light is if we follow the directions of one guru where you breathe a certain way for 18 breaths <laughs> and then you can create and you can you can be in a Merkaba and oh, that's God. the only way if you could create the Merkaba and get in it you may be copyrighted for that. <laughs> Well, right, right. somebody right. said that. Somebody right, did right. say that, and that is the lesson. There were 18 breaths. Okay. Oh yeah. Women had women could had to breathe a different way than men. Okay. And women had an easier time because they were in the heart, and men aren't. Okay. And that was the, there was, and and I was trying it. This was back in maybe 2010, 2011. I was trying to breathe like they said. I was trying to in the nose, in the mouth, and I'm gonna feel this, and it's coming up, and it's up, and it's forming, and, and I just could not get it right. I'm like, oh my god! Like, how you are, buddy? I was like, I'm, I'm yeah, gonna, yeah. what's gonna happen? You're gonna, you're gonna, what's gonna miss the boat? I'm gonna miss the boat. I'm gonna die, and I'm not gonna be. I don't know what. I got. And they want. I, and, but some people they believe that if you know this thing, and if you can. Be in this traveling vehicle. That's the only way to. That's the only way to get out of this oh, these are trap. But they're made by the same. The trap, right? And so it's like. I love that. I actually, like I said, I really believed that. I actually tried. I was trying with the 18 breaths that way, and I never could do it. And you feel like such a failure. You feel like, oh my god. That's like, oh, we're talking about gurus and, and beloveds and these kind of things. <laughs> All the right way to do things. Right, the right way to do things, I just couldn't yes. get it. And so I was, but you're still breathing. Well, well I did. after two bouts of pneumonia, <laughs> you just needed some oxygen, yeah. that's all. The body likes oxygen, apparently. Yeah, you know what? There's not there's much in the air. What is that? That's how I was. That's how they were working with me too with oxygen. What is the thing with oxygen? It's you need it, right? Very bad. And the air, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, the air is, and, and we're breathing in. What? So what's happening with this air? Why yeah, is it more and more? Or is it just a it's just a fluke? Well, of course, the chemtrails yeah, have been going on for 25 yeah. years, yeah. and they're toxic and they're poisonous and they're polluting <clears throat> everything. And there seems to be a great deal of it going on around here. Right yeah. here, they're oh really doing it. Yeah, Sacramento like area. Why are they doing yeah. it here? Why? Why is it so nowadays that you see like big puffy clouds? You're like, oh, real so cool. It's, yeah. it's, it's not yeah. outside like today, unusual, but like when you don't see chemtrails now. I used to just get 
PO'd every time I walked outside and saw the trails. Oh, and I just go crazy. How, you know, how can they do this? How can they do this? If so many of us know as a collective that there are chemtrails and that there's aluminum and poison. Because all, then all they have to do is say, those are contrails, those are vapor trails. And you see the population, which is uh, mind controlled through all the controlled media, television, movies, newspapers, they're all controlled. And then you've got technological frequencies that are beaming from the moon and the bases and above and below, and they're all working on different levels. They even have psychics that project various thought forms into, and then of course there's dark entities as well. So you've got all of these people trying to control us because they want to stay on top. You know, they've cr cr climbed and climbed and climbed to get to the top, and we've probably been those people in other lives. And, and it's just that this life is a determining lifetime for all of us as a collective. So this is a time when is, I think it's better to fall on the, the, the bright side, the better side, where you have integrity and tell the truth. And unfortunately, the world is just the opposite. It's opposite land or backwards land. <laughs> and so whatever you you know, somebody just wrote me an email about it and said, you know, hospitals are designed to kill you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Politicians is designed to enslave you. Blah, 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 blah. And so it is all true. true. And you go into the hospitals and you're, you you end up dying and picking up super infections. Mm -hmm. So, you know, people are going to have to wake up and start seeing the truth about their surroundings and then take back their choices and realize, okay, now wait a minute. I have some say in this. And, you know, I have a friend who... Uh, has MRSA, which is a resistance to antibiotics, because his doctor for 20 years has put him on Bactrim and antibiotics, and so now he gets super infections and nothing will kill it. Wow. So what do you do? What do you do then? They're when, making you the wisdom of your body. They make you take steroids. That's what they do next. After the antibiotics don't work, then because I they forced me on antibiotics. I was on IV antibiotics and I had pneumonia really actually four times and, and this was with the cancer too. with the cancer and we, we keep have, getting pneumonia we should talk about that and then what they would the do the 666 thing oh that and I the had. sterilization what they're doing to women what's happening you know they do if you if you go in that you're you get chemo you're sterilized they i'm sterilized that i didn't know that but and you no longer have periods and you no longer you can't listen to that's, that that's <laughs> that wasn't something that they had said i don't know if they do something different for other people wow. they said you know because i had very serious or very aggressive cancer they thought and you weren't going to live unless you took radiation. Unless I took that. Yeah, I don't think all the chemo does they, that. I had the strongest yes. one. I had chemo one. I had every single day for chemo and radiation, chemo once a week. But I couldn't, um, my body couldn't, I can't say that I went through the whole treatment of chemo because my body was, my all systems were failing. My digestive system was, I was, the chemo I was, was killing I you. was dying, so I, I had to stop that. But they tattooed my, my breasts. I have three tattoos on each breast for where they're going to put the radiation. And that happens to a lot of women. I have tattooed? A, they I, I'll show you after. Exactly and I don't want to show this on video, but I'll show you that I have actual... They look like a freckle, but they are... It's really blue. It looks like a freckle, and but it's blue. And what I got, the second she told me, the second Helene told me what they did, I thought, I got it. There, there was no reason for them to radiate the breasts, right? Right. Because she didn't have cancer there. She had it somewhere else. Three dots on each breast where they radiated the breasts to destroy them from producing the miraculous right. subtle substances that is in mother's milk. Right. Now, you, you know we have our friend uh, Cheryl, uh, who is a lactating nurse, nurse. for a uh, major hospital. And she brought her husband back to life using marijuana and mother's milk. Right. Mm -hmm. It has incredible healing powers. Mm -hmm. So guess what? The the the. It also has the, the only thing that is um, uh, the same as in marijuana. There's like a cannabinoid, or there's like a receptor. There's something mm -hmm. that's found in breast milk that's also found in. And milk. and so so now. You're seeing major uh, film stars being involved with the financial gain 
from having their breasts cut off. Look at Angelina no. Jolie. Well, okay, she was going to do prevent it. She was going to. Oh that's goodness. like saying, "Well, I might uh, get in a car accident and lose my arm. I'm just going to chop it off right now. I don't need my arm. I'm going to lose it anyway. I might as well get used to it." Right? Chop. Oh my God. And I don't think she ever had her breast removed, but if she did, it was all part of it. She's yeah. related to the royal family, as is Brad Pitt. Okay? So what I got... I have that, a good friend that had her breast removed and had a mastectomy. Uh, my mother did. Job. My mother had she, a double mastectomy. It's a, <laughs> a very real uh, move, a push. Push. To get <laughs> women to stop feeding their babies Right. Mother's milk, right. get them on formula. Well, what do you think of when you think of formula? A concoction made in a lab. Preparation. Guess what they put in formula? Fluoride. Right, yeah. It's terrible. Why would a baby need fluoride? They don't have no teeth. Yeah. So, uh, right. so that what those three dots are, nanotechnology. Those are implants that destroy the, the glands that, per, that could possibly... So she's been sterilized, made to fear for her life, and her breast made inactive just in case she got pregnant. Her breasts can never lactate and, and, and get right. mother's milk. We don't want to be... Oh I, I just turned 50 years old, so and I don't want to be pregnant. Okay. Just, just, just to clarify. Just as here. Just as though you know. <laughs> and the funny thing is, is but that they didn't announce it. Like I said, they, all, they didn't tell yeah. me. Okay, we're gonna take your breasts away from you and your and your. No, nah, they didn't no. talk to you. That they had you watch a video. Okay. Oh, so you go into the room alone, and then you watch the video of what happens if you you have the radiation. They don't talk like. Let me tell you about what our side effects are. Yeah, and right, then you ask the questions. Right, right. You watch. I'm oh, sorry. You watch the movie. You watch the video. And um, where your friend was. And, this, is, okay, I, this is the thing. Okay, I didn't only just. I I knew chemo can't work for me. I needed something else. So I went on Rick Simpson oil, which actually shrunk this this tumor that took up an entire lung and then four wow. other tumors in the left lung. Wow. My left lung's clear. My right lung, it shrunk four times in size. It's only in the upper part of my chest And that's now. from Rick Simpson's It's from Rick Simpson Run oil. from the Cure. That's yeah. from Run from the Cure, Rick Simpson oil. He's so going to be on my show, I think, in another month. Uh, and yeah. so basically, it's a, a, it was extremely strong marijuana that was um, then uh, kind of, uh, tell me how that, that worked. You know, it's, so it's basically cooked down. It's like the strongest form of um, cannabis concentrate you can make from taking a, like a whole pound of indica, really good indica pot, and then cooking it down, and it, it comes out with just the all the healing properties of, of the you know the marijuana, and um, uh, so taking it, it's supposed to. So it's supposed to boost your immune system. It's supposed to stimulate all, and revitalize all your organs. It's supposed to be like the fountain of you. Well, I really it's think it's kept me alive. Okay, that was what, because of the chemo and because of other cancers and other things, and I had surgeries and everything. Um, once I, with the Rick Simpson oil, um, it kept just keep shrinking. It just kept shrinking. It just keeps shrinking. So, but the funny story was that she was a little loopy. It makes you okay. good. Okay, this is the problem. You, you might get high. If you take the Rick Simpson oil and you're not, used to, you're not used to being on marijuana and, and a lot of drugs, then what happens is if you take this dose, mm -hmm. you are so out of it. You're like a little spaced out. You can't You drive. have to acclimate. You're supposed to acclimate yeah. to the dose. So, so I was watching the function. So I went in to see the movie about the radiation, but I had already oh. taken my Rick Simpson oh. oil. So I was very out of it. Oh I, I couldn't drink right, so I had green juice all over my <laughs> shirt and mouth and, and everything and my, my clothes. And then I watched the movie, but I kept falling asleep. <laughs> and my friend kept poking me. And she's like, stay up, this is your life. This is your life, wake up. My friend Karen's like, come on. Where they talked about the side effects. So they talked the about the side of effects of it. Of that you could be sterilized or you could have these things. This is how we're going to do this. And you're going to die. And, 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 and they, they, they said it could cause incurable or chronic pneumonia, the radiation. That's where they said it. They said, well, we told you. 
you it was in the video it's in the video but that i was but you wanted to breathe i wanted to breathe so you do anything i do anything and they right. said we'll help you we'll do this right. and i needed to breathe and um i'll do it now I'll pay the price later and I, yeah. I said i'll do it now and i'll pay the price later and i have paid the price mm -hmm. too because the chronic pneumonia the radiation is is a killer mm -hmm. i burnt also another thing is I had burn marks. It, it's burning me from the inside out. I would have burn marks on my chest, the actual burns that I'd have to treat myself for burns close to where these tattoos are. So this is the the removal uh, of the divine feminine. You know, this is the 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 the, the murder, the metaphoric murder of the divine feminine. For a stripper of her breasts, you know, so that there can't be that communication. Give the kids vaccination so they can't communicate with source, you know, and that those tender little baby organs can't take even one vaccination, let alone forty or fifty or more. And the and then you've got to baptize. And so all of this is about containing the spirit of the of the or the consciousness. But the thing is, I don't think that you can. That's it. It's not working. <laughs> so uh, it can't what's say the vaccinations and all that other shit. You know, it's, it's not yeah, working. It's, it's not, not working. working. No, we're still, still here. Look at us. Three people right here talking about all this. They we could have been dead a thousand times. And it's like that was supposed to take care of that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Get rid of us. We're still here. Right. And we're talking. And we're talking. And right. saying things. That's what they don't. That's what the people. To you. Yeah. Well, you guys. Do not yeah. feel like a victim, though. Honestly, I made those choices. They were fear. I was scared. That's it. Fear. Okay? fear. And I chose that because yeah. I chose it in fear. I made yeah. that choice. And I'm not. I, I'm whatever I am for it. Here I am. And, and I think. Yeah, I made them through all that. But I think our thoughts, I mean, oh, yeah. my own, uh, why does anything happen to us? Why does anything happen well, to us? Well, we're herded like sheep. But also, no. you're an eternal divine being. You're extremely powerful. You will choose. And if you didn't herd it around, you right. herd it around. That's so right. That's right. Yeah, yeah eternal and divine like, beings. Yeah. And never, ever take a decision out of fear. Right. And that's right. what, uh, or when right. you're afraid. I'm super angry. Yeah. Right. Angry or afraid to not take a decision. Anyway. Yeah. 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 So not take a decision and then fear. That's what it was. Always a bad idea. Well, now, uh, not to change the subject, but uh, since we only have you for as long as we have you, which is mm -hmm. forever and ever, eternity, <laughs> um, so you, what, uh, what do you think... Um, since this is your last year of, of you know actively sharing and teaching in the rest of it, what's your gut feeling about what where we are now in 2016, heading into 2017? It feels like things have, are in a major shifting period. Yeah. Well, we talked a little bit about that energy here in California now, right? Mm -hmm. That green Genesis type energy that is really really full of life force and possibility. Uh, but I. I would really like people to uh, consider maybe um, that each and every one of us embodies the new paradigm. It's not that it's coming. The right. location is not a place or it's not a place, presence, time or space. We actually do it ourselves. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Embody the new paradigm. Mm -hmm. Be that. Yep. Don't wait for it. Don't wait yeah. for it. Just yeah. be it right be in it. your body. Right. And then work out a little bit and be it in your home. Right? Yeah. And then oh, a little yeah. bit more, be it in your yard. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. a little bit more, you know, and just expand being that new paradigm. And you'll find that there's, I mean, I've always said it. It's like, there's never been so many people awake, so many neighbors getting together to fix mm -hmm. their streets, so many people making gardens and, yeah, and, and fixing things yeah. and healing. And there's never been so many people who say, yeah. you know, I know how to do hands-on healing. I, 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 I'm going to study Reiki. I'm going to do yeah, this. I yeah. know what karma means. But in history, there's never been so many. I mean, registered history at least, right? Yeah, yeah. And that's not a reported. Right, so right. It's like, yeah, let them come to it whatever. It's not working. It's not right. Working. You know, we're here. That's I like that. I love that too. Yeah. It's, it's, and it's, it's, yeah. Every single person who's listening, mm -hmm. it didn't work with them. Right. right. It didn't. Obviously not. They wouldn't be listening. Yeah, they wouldn't have found this video. On yeah. 
people yeah. aware. And there are no accidents. So anybody that hears this is, they, you know, set things up so that, that you know, we're all setting this up together as a co-creation. Right. And we're not any different or better or more... Anything. Anything. We're just people sitting around having a conversation. Just no, like... We, we, may, we may be opinionated. Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah well, I know I am. I think everybody is. Opinionated. Yeah, I'm Everybody is. 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 But I love working in the... I'm, I'm, I'm best when I'm working in the garden with my hands and I'm just completely just working with nature and that's growing my plants and my vegetables and things like that and talking to them. And they talk back. And, and, you know, parents yell at their kids for talking to their vegetables. Well, that's because they're, they're alive. <laughs> you know, as long as they're not GMO and, and, and you know, grown in a, in a factory or something. But, uh, you know, somebody said that there are as many people alive today now, like seven plus billion people, as have ever been on the planet. And they said, well, maybe everybody that's ever been here is here now. To shift it out of the, you know, into high gear. Oh, that's an interesting. How you I gear low gear because there's yeah. a split, you know. So there, the split. Yeah. So yeah. it's like there has to be a split, gear. right? Sideways gear. <laughs> but there may be thousands. It's maybe. Well, I wouldn't think different gears. <laughs> yeah. I know. This is unfortunately where I have to go. It's, it's we have a, an appointment at a certain uh, time, and we didn't know. That's all right. It was such a gift and an honor to be on this little show. It's so cool. <laughs> and it's so amazing to see you and Elia after. Oh, I haven't been like two years, maybe. And it's just like I said, it's even two years younger than <laughs> two years ago. I'm not kidding. So. Oh, that rocking on the boat. Mmm. That's nice. <laughs> oh, yeah.